prove that the coefficient of static friction the coefficient of static friction is equal to the tangent is equal to the tangent of the angle of friction of the angle of friction between the two surfaces in contact or between the two bodies between the two bodies in contact prove that the coefficient of static friction is equal to the tangent of angle of friction in the diagram a body is placed on the rough surface of another body and uh, its weight mg is acting vertically downwards from the lowest point but actually weight should be acting from its center of gravity but for can convenience weight mg is acting from the lowest point of the body normal reaction r acts vertically downwards from the lowest point but actually normal reaction should be acting from center of gravity an external force fx is applied or is is acted on the body at its center of gravity it is actually shown fx is the external force which is applied on the body and which acts from its center of gravity and limiting friction fl acts towards left in the opposite direction of fx on the surface in contact taking fl and r as two adjacent sides we can draw a rectangle we can draw a rectangle in this way we can uh, draw a rectangle this uh, diagonal is the resultant in resultant in of fl and r and these two sides are imaginary and they are denoted by dotted straight line the diagonal is the resultant in n is the resultant of limiting friction fl and r which acts from the point o normal reaction r acts uh, along oy in vertically upward direction and the resultant in makes an angle theta l with the direction of r theta l is the angle of friction let theta l be the angle of friction angle of friction which the result in n the result in force n capital n of the limiting friction fl of the limiting friction fl and normal reaction r mix with the direction of normal reaction r mix with the direction of normal reaction r normal reaction r now the limiting friction fl the limiting friction fl acting on the surface in contact between the body and the rough surface between the sliding body the limiting friction fl acting between the body and the rough surface of another body between the body and the rough surface of the other body acts along ox acts along ox therefore ox equal fl ox equal fl the straight line ox uh, is equal to the magnitude of limiting friction fl and also the normal reaction r normal reaction r on the body applied by the rough surface applied by the rough surface x along oy 
applied by the rough surface of the other body acts along OY. Therefore, OY equal R. That means the, the straight line OY gives the value of normal reaction R. FL, limiting friction FL acts along OX, along OX and uh, normal reaction R acts along OY, OY and the resultant, that's why FL equal to OX and uh, the normal reaction R is equal to OY. From the triangle ZYO, tan theta L equal if we draw the diagram again, this is the rough surface and body. Mg is a weight which is acting from the lowest point though it is acting from center of gravity. Fl acts towards left, limiting friction Fl acts along Ox towards left. And the body has a tendency to move uh, towards right. This is normal reaction R acts along Oy. And the diagonal, this diagonal is the result in N which acts along OZ. N is the result in of FL and R which acts along OZ. N makes an angle theta L with R. Theta L is the angle of friction. Now tan theta L from the triangle ZOY. Tan theta L equal to ZY divided by OY. So here we can write tan theta L equal ZY is the perpendicular divided by base means OY. From the triangle ZOY. ZY is equal to OX, therefore we get tan theta L as equal OX divided by OY. Since ZY equal OX by magnitude. Now putting the values of OX, OX is equal to FL. In place of OX we can write FL and in place of OY we can write R. So finally we get tan theta L as FL by R. Tangent of angle of friction means tan theta L is the ratio of limiting friction FL and normal reaction R, which is equation 1. Again, the coefficient of friction, the coefficient of limiting friction or static friction, coefficient of static friction is given by mu S or mu L, mu L equal FL by R. Coefficient of static friction is the ratio of limiting friction FL and normal reaction R. This is equation 2. This is equation 2. Comparing equation 1 and 2. Comparing equation, equations 1 and 2. We get mu L equal tan theta L. Both are FL by R. mu L equal tan theta L. mu L equal tan theta L. Hence, the, co the coefficient of static friction or limiting friction The coefficient of static friction between the two surfaces in contact or between two bodies in contact, between the two surfaces in contact is equal to the tangent of angle of friction is equal to the tangent of angle of friction. 